everyone and welcome back to Crystal Clear a University Guide. So in this vlog I'm going to be talking specifically about my experience of living in halls at Stockbridge Halls of Residence at Chichester University. One of the things I most enjoyed about living in halls was just going around and being able to visit a lot of people. Uh, Stockbridge is classed as a halls of residence but it's also classed as a student village and I've really enjoyed just being able to pop around and see my friends. I go and visit my friend Ewan and Bebop quite a lot. I visit my friends Abby and Sophie and Seabock and I sit with them in their kitchen and I've had Christmas dinner with them and I've had Christmas dinner with Ewan and I really like the community feel that Stockbridge has. I think more so than other halls it has a really big community feel just where it is a village there's a little green bit just outside when the weather's nice and there's a common room where we can all sit and I've had a couple movie nights in the common room as well as watching films on people's laptops. I've just really enjoyed my experience. I've also really enjoyed the independence of living alone. I think halls is a really nice way to ease into living alone. I have an ensuite which I particularly quite like because I quite like having entirely my own space in a shared kitchen. But it just gets you prepared for adulthood, it gets you prepared for when you're going to live alone. You have people at reception and security looking out for you, you have people in the same boat. I think if I went straight into a house I would have struggled because there's a lot more independence rather than the uni being able to look out for you and I found that the security and the people in reception are always lovely. Um, in A block I cut through reception to get to my halls and I always talk to the people in reception and they're so lovely and it's just really nice to be able to have that chat. But I really enjoyed having an ensuite because I quite like to have in my own space. I think just having um, a flat in general was quite nice because it does feel like you're living in a flat and you just feel really independent. When I first came to uni I was a bit nervous about living alone but now I absolutely love it and I wouldn't go back. Okay so now I want to take you through um, a tour of everywhere in Stockbridge. I have compiled um, a few videos just of different areas which I'll be playing as I speak, which I hope you enjoy and find useful. At Stockbridge we have a small reception which is connected to A Block and you can go there to collect parcels, to collect mail, uh, there's always someone there apart from at night time that's when security takes over, there's a small security office which you can just knock on the door of and they will pop into reception if you need to grab anything, however mail collections and parcel collections are during the day. we have six washing machines and we have six tumble dryers and we pay for them using a system called circuits so as you can see here I've got my circuit card uh, I won't show you the back just because it's got my number on it but if I go like that I can probably show you so you get your own circuit card and you top it up so you go online to the circuit website and you put how much money you'd like to top up uh, when I bought my circuit card for the first time I bought it already topped up from the machine which I believe was five pounds and then the other little machine that um, I will point out in the video is where you top up your card. At Stockbridge it costs currently £2.70 for a wash and £1.50 for a tumble. With washing, uh, the door locks immediately. Uh, I'll put my hands up, I have done this. Make sure you put your washing liquid in there because I have sometimes shut it and forgot and you can't open the doors again. Same for tumble, just make sure you put everything you want in there and just double check everything. It takes around 50 minutes for a tumble dry and about 30 minutes for a wash. So as you leave the laundry room, uh, you will pass the communal bathrooms which connect to the common room, which if you're busting when you get in from uni is pretty handy and if you're running out of toilet paper, you can also go to the common room toilets, which has happened to me one or two times when I've forgotten to do the shopping. room itself is so lovely. I really like the common room. It's a really big open space, lots of light gets through. We have uh, two televisions so you can sit either side and watch TV. I've had a movie night while someone else has also had a movie night and I mean if you just discuss you can like mediate volume so you can both hear quite nicely. Uh, we have a foosball table or a football table depending where you're from which you can play with uh, costs about 50p. We also have a vending machine, we have one for drinks and we have one for chocolate which I have gone to on a couple occasions. We do also have a coffee machine if you fancy a coffee and you don't have any in. At 
at Stockbridge we have three smoking areas. We have one which I filmed, which is near A Block where I'm living, and we have two situated between B Block and C Block. We also have three places to put bikes. on to rooms. If you come into your block, mine being A block, uh, you'll notice there is a lift, thank god, so you don't have to go up the stairs if you're on the third or second floor, and you can get the lift up to your room, which is really handy. So I've done a small video of my room, which I absolutely love, and I'll talk to you a little bit about it as you watch. Surrounding Stockbridge we have a lot of really nice areas. There's a canal which is super close. I love to wander along the canal if I'm having a bad day at all or if I just want to clear my head or if I just want to get out into some nature and switch off for a bit. It's really nice to have the opportunity to be able to just walk like along somewhere nature and kind of have that nice switch off which I think is a really big benefit to Stockbridge. As well at Stockbridge we have a massive complex called Chichester Gate, Chai Gate, which is situated behind us. It's got a McDonald's, it's got a KFC, it's got a Premier Inn if you've got family visiting, it's got a tent in bowling, it's even got a nursery, um, not that that's really relevant to us but I thought I'd throw it in the list anyway, and it's got a trampoline park and a gym. So it's got a lot of stuff that you can use and go to, I'll admit I go to the McDonald's quite a lot. <laughs> yeah, I think a lot of my friends we do sometimes pop to McDonald's and just get a meal together but I think it's really nice and it's nice to have like that space where you can go and be quite communal with everyone. So that's it from me about everything Stockbridge Halls of Residence. If you've got any questions at all let me know if it's about rooms, storage space, anything like that. I'm more than happy to share and help you out. As well if you want to know a little bit more about on-campus accommodation at Chichester University on the Bishop Otter campus I'm more than happy to share. I don't personally live on campus but my boyfriend does and I've been to his flat quite a lot so I can tell you a little bit about what what that's like if anyone is interested. Again, I'm more than happy to answer any questions about living in halls in general if you're at a different university. If you just want to know what it's like moving away and living in your own space, I'm happy to answer any questions. So that's it from me. I hope you've enjoyed my vlog and I'll see you next time. Bye!